Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. I've been looking back on all the awards I received over the years. I've gotten the perfect attendance award at least one year in elementary school, middle school, and high school. I got this trophy just for playing the violin in high school. And... Oh. An award is a surefire way to know you're doing well with things. Things like winning a science fair or getting a medal from the Olympics. Awards are everywhere, and they have awards for all kinds of media like TV shows, movies, songs, actors, singers, video games, etc. Awards are indeed a big deal, but some people have gotten conceited from getting so much as a single award, which can result in getting a big head and the artist could end up hitting a bump in their career road. And some awards just keep on coming. Spongebob is not shy when it comes to receiving awards over the years. Because it's such an iconic show ever since it was conceived and has definitely received some award over the years. Judging by the number of awards I don't have on my bookshelf, clearly Spongebob has something that I don't. So today, I thought I'd take a look at some of the awards Spongebob has been nominated for and the awards that the show actually received. But before I start, I have to lay out a brief disclaimer. I promise it'll be quick. There are a lot of awards the show has been nominated for and won, but for the awards the show has not received, I will not be able to say which program did win because that information for some of these awards was really hard for me to find. So most of what I go over here will mostly be for the actual awards it actually won, as well as some of the awards only nominated for. The winners were hard for me to find. And also, there are so many awards here, I decided I will be only talking about the awards and nominations that were received up until the year 2011. The rest of them will be covered in the future. And now with that out of the way, let's start this off with the first award ever obtained, all the way back in the year 2000. The first award the franchise received was for the Golden Reel Awards. The Golden Reel Awards are honoring the best work in the field of sound editing for that year. The show received two awards that year. One of those awards was for Best Sound Editing, TV Animation, Music. Several crew members were nominated for their work on episodes 12, Murray Men of Barnacle Boy, and 13, Pickles from Season 1. There was also an award for Best Sound Editing for TV Animation. This award was for Nicholas Carr for his work on episode 29, Karate Choppers from Season 1. The following year in 2001, there was another Golden Reel Award for sound editing in TV animation for music and sound. However, it only received the award for the sound and not for the music. The sound award was for the work done on episodes 34, ARG, and 35, Rock Bottom from season 1. The music award was for Carr's work on episodes 38, Fools in April, and 39, Neptune Spatula from season 1. The actual recipient of this award was for the sound and music editing for the Mickey Mouse Works episodes, Donald's Lighthouse, and How to Take Care of Your Yard. That same year, the show was also nominated for three Annie Awards. The Annie Awards are awards presented to recognize excellence in TV and film animation. Two of these awards are for voice acting, and the other is for music. The first award was for Mary Jo Catlett's work, I hope I pronounced that right, as Mrs. Puff from episode 59, No Free Rides from season 2. The second award was for Tom Kenny's work as Spongebob from episode 50, Wormy from season 2. The music related Annie Award was for Peter Strauss and Paul Tibbet for the very first Christmas song from episode 56, Christmas Who from season 2. Unfortunately, all those were only nominations and none of those awards were given out to the show itself. I'm disappointed that the song never received the music award. I love that song so much. But that's a story for another time. The next year, in 2002, the show received more Golden Reel Awards. It was nominated for another Music and TV Animation Award for Carr's work in episodes 77, Jellyfish Hunter, and 78, The Fry Cook Games from season 2. This time, the award went to the music editors for The Cramp Twins. The show also received an award for Best Sound Editing in TV Animation for episodes 69, The Secret Box, and 70, Band Geeks from Season 2. That same year, the show was nominated for a Primetime Emmy Award. The Emmy Awards are presented for merits in the TV industry. There are two main Emmy Awards at play, the Daytime Emmys and Primetime, presented for Daytime and Primetime Entertainment Programming respectively. The award was Outstanding Children's Programming, and Steven Hillenburg was nominated for creating Spongebob, but did not receive it. 
The winner that year was Nick New's Special Edition, Faces of Hope, The Kids. The show was also the recipient of a Television Critics Association Award for Outstanding Achievements in Children's Programming that same year. Moving on to 2003, the show was presented with more Golden Reel Awards. These awards were for Best Sound Editing for Music in TV Animation and Best Sound Editing in TV Animation. The Music Award was for the work done on Episodes 87, Nasty Patty, and 88, Idiot Box from Season 3. The sound editing for TV animation was for Nicholas Carr's work on episodes 99, Wet Painters, and 100, Krusty Krab Training Video from Season 3. That same year, the show was nominated for another Primetime Emmy Award. This time, it was for Best Animated Program for Under One Hour. This award was for the crew's work on episodes 104, New Student Starfish, and 105, Clams from Season 3. Unfortunately, the show did not receive this award either, and it went to The Simpsons instead. Really? The Simpsons? It was also nominated for a Kami Award for Funniest TV Animated Series, but didn't win. And now I'm going to skip over one of the most important awards from this year, and for pretty much every year from now until 2011. But don't worry, I'll come back to it. I want to save it for last, but I'm sure you all know which one I'm talking about. In the year known as 2004, it's the same shtick as last year, Golden Reel and Primetime Emmy. This year, there were two Golden Reel Awards for sound editing in TV animation, but only one was received. The award it got was for Carr's work in episodes 107, The Great Snail Race, and 108, Midlife Crustacean from season 3. The award that it didn't win was for Midlife Crustacean, and that award went to the Jimmy Neutron TV movie, Operation Rescue Jet Fusion. I like Jimmy Neutron, so I won't complain this time. For the Primetime Emmy Award this year, it was the same as 2003, Outstanding Animated Program Less Than One Hour, and the nomination was for episode 106, UGG, from season 3, but it lost to Samurai Jack. The next year, in 2005, there were so many awards. This time, there was only one Golden Reel Award nomination, and it was for the work done on episodes 116, Spongebob Meets the Strangler, and 117, Pranks a Lot from Season 3. But this show did not receive that award. And this time, the recipient was the Jimmy Neutron episode, The End Men. I like Jimmy Neutron, so I won't complain this time. There was another nomination for a Primetime Emmy, this time for episodes 118, Fear of a Krabby Patty, and 119, Shell of a Man from season 4. But this time, the recipient was South Park. On a more positive note, this year, the show did receive an Annie Award. This award was for Best Animated TV Production. However, looking at this page, we can see that it says the award was for 2004 and not 2005. So, which year is it for, Annie Awards? This year, it received a special award from the Annecy International Animated Film Festival for Fear of a Krabby Patty. It was also nominated for another TV Critics Association Award this year, but didn't win. Also, the show was nominated for a Satellite Award. The complete Season 2 DVD was nominated for Best Youth DVD, but it lost. But this page says that award was for 2004. So, which is it, Satellite? Oh hey, the Spongebob Squarepants movie was nominated and won some awards too. It was nominated for 10 awards that year, but the only awards it received were for Top Box Office Film from the ASCAP Film and Television Music Awards and Fave Movie at the Australian Kids' Choice Awards. Man, 2005 was a bigger year for the show than I remember. Moving on to 2006, there was another nomination for a Golden Reel Award this time for Best Sound Editing in Animated TV, and it was for episode 122, Have You Seen This Snail, from season 4. But it lost and the winner was Family Guy for the crew's work on the episode Blind Ambition. Why Family Guy? It also received another Annie Award, this time for Best Writing in an Animated TV Production for the writers who wrote Fear of a Krabby Patty. The SpongeBob SquarePants movie was also nominated for Best Cartoon at the MTV Russia Movie Awards, but lost to Madagascar. At least Madagascar won. The next year, in 2007, the show was nominated for another Primetime Emmy Award for Best Animated Program Under One Hour. This time for episodes 142, Bummer Vacation, and 143, Wig Struck from Season 4, but lost to F*** South Park again. The same year, it also received a British Academy Children's Award, annual awards bestowed by members of the BAFTA, the British Academy Film and Television Arts, for excellence in children's media. 
The award was for the international category, and Steven Hillenberg and Alan Smart received the award for Spongebob. The show was also nominated for another TV Critics Association Awards for Outstanding Achievement in Children's Programming, but didn't win. The following year, in 2008, it was nominated for another Annie Award, this time for Best Voice Acting in an Animated TV Program for Tom Kenny's role as Spongebob in Episode 162, Spy Buddies from Season 5, but didn't win. It also received another Golden Reel Award. This award was for Best Sound Editing in Animated TV for Episode 194, Spongehenge from Season 5. It was also nominated for another Primetime Emmy Award, this time for Episodes 187, The Inmates of Summer, and 193, The Two Faces of Squidward from Season 5, but lost to the f***ing Simpsons again. Really? The Simpsons? This one I'm a bit confused about. Whenever an award was for an episode, it was for a single episode or a pair of episodes that usually aired together in reruns. These two episodes for this award aren't paired up together. The Inmates of Summer is paired up with episode 188, To Save a Squirrel, and The Two Faces of Squidward is paired up with Spongehenge. So it's kinda weird that this award was for two episodes that weren't paired up together. Moving on, we've reached 2009, the year of the 10th anniversary. Let's start off this year with something different, the Teen Choice Awards. The series won the award for Choice TV Animated Show. The show was also nominated for another Primetime Emmy, this time for Outstanding Special Class Short Form Animated Program. The episode nominated this time was episode 222, Dear Vikings from season 6, but it lost. There was also another nomination for a British Academy Children's Award for Kids Vote TV, but it didn't win this time. There was another kind of award nomination this year, the Australian Subscription Television and Radio Association, or ASTRA for short. The award this time was for Favorite International Program, but it lost to Season 6 of Grand Designs. It was also nominated for another Golden Reel Award for Best Sound Editing in TV Animation, this time for Episode 202, Suction Cup Symphony from Season 6, but it didn't win and the award went to Star Wars The Clone Wars. There was also an Annie Award that year. This award was for direction and animation of a TV program or short form. The SpongeBob nomination was for animation director Alan Smart's work on episode 199, Penny Foolish from season 6, but it didn't win. Now it's the start of the next decade, 2010. The show was nominated for three Annies this time, but only won one of them. The nominations this time were Best Animated TV Production for Children, and the SpongeBob vs. The Big One DVD was nominated for Best Home Entertainment Production. The Annie of one this time was for Best Voice Acting in a Children's Animated Program for Tom Kenny's role of SpongeBob from Episode 240, Truth or Square, from Season 6. There you go, Season 6 wasn't all bad. The series was also nominated for another international category from the British Academy Children's Awards, but it lost. This time it was also nominated for the Daytime Emmys instead of Primetime. It was nominated for two Daytime Emmys, but only received one. The nomination was for Directing in an Animated Program, and the award that it won was Outstanding Special Class Animated Program. It was also nominated for another TV Animation Sound Editing Award from the Golden Reels, this time for Episode 217, Spongebob Squarepants vs. The Big One from Season 6, but it lost to the Penguins of Madagascar episode, What Goes Around. The Penguins was a good show too. It was also nominated for the RTOs Awards for casting in an animated TV program, but lost, and then it won an award for Best Children and Youth Program from the TP de Oro. Now for today's final year of interest, 2011. This year, the show received two Annie Awards. One was for Best Animated TV Children's Program, and the other was for Music in a TV Production. It was also nominated for another Primetime Emmy for Short Format Animated Program. The nominee this time was for Episode 276, That Sinking Feeling from Season 7, but the winner was Disney Prep and Landing, Operation Secret Santa. It also was nominated for casting in an animated TV program from the Artios again, and this time it won, and received another TP de Oro for Best Children and Youth Program. It also received an award for ASCAP Film and Television Music Awards for Top TV Series. And that is all the awards and nominations from 2000 to 2011. Except for what I left out. 
when it comes to SpongeBob Awards, you can't talk about them without mentioning the Kids' Choice Awards. Every year since 2003, SpongeBob has won favorite cartoon, except for 2008 when it lost to Avatar The Last Airbender. In terms of the KCAs overseas, it was nominated for Best Animated Series in Argentina in 2011, but lost, was nominated for Fave Tune in Australia in 2006, and won every year after that from 2007 to 2011, won Favorite Cartoon in Brazil every year from 2003 to 2011, won the same award in Indonesia from 2008 to 2011, won Favorite Cartoon in Mexico for 2003, but was only nominated in 2010, won Favorite Cartoon in the Philippines in 2008, and won Best Cartoon in 2007 in the UK, and Favorite Kids Cartoon in the UK in 2008. And that was all the awards and nominations the series has received from 2000 to 2011. And as you can see, that was a ton of awards. I'll be coming back to this topic later down the line to cover the awards and nominations the show received from 2012 to the present day. With all these awards and then some, it's no surprise why the show is still going on to this day. And after going over all of these awards, I still wonder what Spongebob has that I don't.